And welcome into sports, everybody. While well, I'm talking football with a 92-inch television behind me, that is a pretty, pretty, pretty good day. Gets even better tonight as the Dallas Cowboys take on the New York Jets right here on Channel 2. Pre-game starts at 6. All right, more NFL in just a bit, but first, another milestone for Oklahoma football. The Sooners, number one in the country for the 100th time. Latest AP poll released today. The Sooners are still on top. 100th week in program history. That is more than any other team ever. Alabama is number two, LSU three, Boise State four, and Florida State is number five. So next week's game in Tallahassee will be a matchup of top five teams. How about that? Sooner Seminole, Saturday night, seven o'clock. We'll be there. Our reports begin Friday. As for the rest of the top 25, those OSU Cowboys up one spot to number eight. More on the pokes in just a bit. Texas A&M is nine. Arkansas pummeled by poor little New Mexico Lobos yesterday. They're 14. Baylor 19. Texas 24. Well, Tulsa wide receiver Brian Burnham gave us a glimpse of what he could do in that loss to Oklahoma. But his coming out party yesterday in New Orleans. Seven catches, 94 yards, two touchdowns, including that spectacular one-hander. Burnham moved from defensive back to wide receiver last fall. Head coach Bill Blankenship, glad he did. I mean, he's a guy that's a long strider, so he doesn't look as fast as he really is. And he's got great body control. He can really, like, it, like he showed on the one deep ball that he tipped himself, I mean, he, he can really twist and contort his body and, and have those big hands and, and make the play. You're pretty happy he got moved over. No, I'm very happy. I think he's uh, going to be a real difference, difference maker for us. Well, hey, that Tulsa defense was the real star yesterday, holding Tulane to just three points, 235 yards, and forcing three turnovers. It's, it's what we saw all spring and, and uh, in the fall. Uh, I, I just really like the guys that, that we've got playing and how Coach Guy's got them put together. We just have a sense for, for how we're doing it a whole lot better, I think, and uh, getting real solid play. Well, that TU defense gets a big-time test next week. The nation's number two offense is coming to town. Tulsa and Oak State, Saturday at 9. Adjust your sleep schedule accordingly, Marla. Speaking of the pokes, I think we all remember this. Our state, Brandon Weed, Blackman is by himself. He'll take his time and score eventually. Touchdown, folks. Yeah, Arizona defenders didn't care for that leisurely stroll in last year's Alamo Bowl. Pre-game social media trash talk between Arizona defensive backs and Justin Blackman became on the field trash talk last Thursday. And Blackman, who got 12 passes for 128 yards and two touchdowns, didn't mind a bit. I mean, it's, just, it's part of the game. We play a physical sport, and, uh, you know, of course there's going to be talking and, you know, jaw jacking going on. So, uh... It's just part of the game, and, you know, you just take it and go with them. Yeah. It's fun. I mean, like I said, it's part of the game. That's what makes makes the game fun. So, you know, it's him saying, I'm better than you, and you saying you're better than him. And you go out there and do it. Go out there and do it is what this guy does every single week. NCAA record 14 straight games with at least 100 yards. Back with more sports after this.